Hello YouTubers, uh, my name is Grey Wolf, and I'm going to go through and I decided to make a tutorial uh, based on the new OMSI Omnibus Simulator that just came out um, released through publisher Aerosoft Games and available on simmarket.com now the Omnibus Simulator is one of the best simulators I've played yet of uh, bus simulators and I know a lot of people don't find bus simulators um, exciting or fun so if you think that they are not for you then don't bother watching this tutorial because I'm not you know I don't want to have to deal with dozens of comments uh, bashing the simulator so if you don't like them go do something else right now don't watch the tutorial this tutorial is for those of us that have purchased this simulator in English and don't know what the hell they're doing it took a couple of hours of trial and error in order to uh, even for me figure out how to get the damn bus started and then get it rolling and in a few more hours of driving practice and picking up passengers and whatnot. I started off in the uh, the practice town of Grundorf. Uh, this is Rathaus Spandau in 1986. So I've moved on to the main map. Uh, Rathaus Spandau it incorporates the route from Statgrens to Rathaus Spandau to Fruitster. Uh, I don't speak German so this is probably coming out horribly for any German speakers out there. Doing the best I can. Uh, this is bus route 92 which is the main bus route apparently there's two other bus routes but there's no timetable for them uh, you can't really select them as a bus route which is weird so you're stuck doing 92 anyway let's get back to the tutorial when you start off you start off kind of floating in midair like this over an area uh, this here is fruit stir this is a terminus stop uh, for route number 92 uh, so when you start off without a bus you're like you know what the hell am I supposed to do well, what you want to do is hit left alt. Okay, your menu, which is shown, you'll come here. up with this menu up here with all these uh, different buttons. There's a bar that comes up top, and scrolls down, and your game pauses. So it's a good way to pause your game. What you're looking at is there's a button that you see here that says new bus. Uh, you select this button in order to uh, select the bus you want to drive because you start off without a bus floating in midair. Uh, so you would select new bus. Uh, the bus for this tutorial, SD200. Uh, SD83 with the roll sign. Okay. Uh, the next button would be change bus, which will give you a list of AI buses that are available on the route that you can uh, change to in order to watch their progress, but you can't take over for them. Uh, the next button, excuse me, is erase your current bus. It's the bus that you're in. Uh, you can erase it. And you don't, you won't have to worry about it after that. Uh, you select another bus. Uh, the next sign, which I forgot to mark, which is uh, after change bus, there's another button next to a little wrench icon that has a 90. This says 92 with an arrow. That's your route change sign. Uh, if you click that, you'll be you'll be able to type in the route number and your your ending station. You, you select from the list your ending station, and the sign on your bus will change to exactly whatever you type in there. Uh, the next button marked call police. If you get into an accident with another vehicle or with a person, I don't think you can do it with a person, but if you get into an accident with a vehicle, you click that to clear the accident. Uh, if not, it will go against your record and you will get a summons. It will go against your driver's record. Uh, the next button marked is driver profile. If you click that button, that will give you your profile. It will show you um, all kinds of information it also rates how well you drive and how well you do your job uh, the next button marked is choose timetable click that button and you'll be able to select a route a starting location um, the next button not marked uh, with a little double arrow that says PC and face of a person If you click that button it'll basically give your bus away to an AI driver so they'll drive it away back to the garage same as erasing your bus, you select another one. The next marked button is the floating route navigator. Uh, floating route navigator um, is good because it brings up in the air arrows telling you the bus number and the route. So if you're that bus number doing that route, you have to follow the arrows. It also has the bus stops marked that you have to stop at. So any marked bus stop, if there's someone there, you have to stop at. Or if you know you're your little orange light on your dash lights up to mean someone wants to get off. You have to stop at that bus stop. 
The next two marked buttons are time and weather. Self-explanatory. The clock, you can change your time and your day and time of day. And the little rain cloud, you can change the type of weather. Um, the next button that's marked is your options, uh, your graphics, your sound, whatever. Click that to change your different options for the game. And that concludes the menu part of this tutorial. Okay, so for this tutorial, we're going to be selecting uh, MAN bus S3200, S3, SD83 with the roll sign. Um, so click uh, new bus, select SD200, SD83 with a roll sign. Uh, go ahead and put whatever number you want for the bus number and go ahead and change your theme if you would like and then click OK. There you go. Now you are in control of a bus at Fruitster. And give it a second. And there you are. That is now you in your bus at your, your chosen location. So now you press S, by the way, to change the different views. So you're inside the bus. Now you're in a bus. Uh, it's freezing cold, negative six degrees Celsius. And like me, you're probably sitting here going, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Most, if not all, of these buttons are pressable, and they do something. So it took me a few hours of trial and error just to get the bus running. But I'll make this easier for you. This little key-looking thing here, which I believe is a key, I just, you know, uh, use right mouse button, hold down to zoom in or out, and middle mouse button to move your camera around, and left mouse button to select. So what you want to do is push that down, Turn on the electrical systems. Uh, you can click the uh, steering column, turn off the steering wheel. Make sure you're in neutral and start the bus. Now, most of the buses, the newer buses, their layout are kind of the same as this one. A lot of the older buses have a very different layout, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, they're usually all the buttons are usually in the same area. Uh, the newer buses have an automated ticket dispenser here you're stuck right now with the manual ticket dispenser. Um, you want to get the heat rolling, so what you want to do is use the little lever. There's a little knob that you'll see you can roll up to turn on the air. I believe this controls the heat and this opens up the vents. So what you want to do is open up the vents and circulate the air inside and that temperature should start to go up after a bit. You're going to have to idle the bus for a while to heat up obviously. Okay, now you got your bus started. But your windshield's a little foggy here, obviously, because it's snowing. Um, these buttons, there's these little row of buttons here, which controls your lighting, your windshield wipers, your windshield washer, some other things, and I don't really know what they do yet because I'm still learning. What you want to do is turn on your inner lights, your upper and lower lights, and for this tutorial, I'm going to turn on the front light here. Uh, interval for windshield wipers. That's basically a slow wipe every few seconds, or wisher and ouse, which makes it faster. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to keep it interview. So basically, slow, medium, and fast. Okay. Now your bus is rolling. What are the controls? Well, you can't steer with your mouse. Um, you can hit the buttons, these buttons down at the bottom. This is your high beam flashers. I don't know what the hell this does. Your horn. Uh, but on your keyboard, which I have, I don't have a steering wheel. I have to use my keyboard. So what you want to do is you go to your number pad, which controls the basic functions of the bus. Uh, number pad 8 gives the bus gas. Number pad 2 gives the bus brake. Number pad 4 steers left. Number pad 6 steers right. Number pad 5 resets sets the wheel straight. Um, number pad forward slash and number pad star control the doors. The doors will only open when you have your bus stop brake on, which is this little knob here. That has to be in the up position. Now, if someone hits a button to get off at a bus stop, you will have an orange light on your dash somewhere, which will light up if they hit the button. And you'll have to stop at the next bus stop. When you come to a stop, you pull that knob up, and you can either press forward slash, number pad forward slash, and number pad star to open up the front doors, or you can just hit these two buttons here. 
whatever is your preference. Um, people will then begin to board the bus. Okay. Um, the back doors will automatically close. Make sure you take off the bus stop brake in order to get rolling after you're done at the bus stop. Okay. There's usually a knob on a lever here. This lever controls your parking brake. Um, on the older buses, there is a big lever here in the middle that controls your parking brake. Okay, this is parking brake on. That's parking brake off. Okay. Basically, now your bus is on. You do not have a timetable yet, so you don't need to set the route signs. Okay. Also, to control your lights, you can either hit help, you can either hit L or you can flip this little key to control your parking lights or your headlights. Okay. Uh, this red button here or the letter B on your keyboard controls your hazards. Okay. Uh, number pad 7 controls your left turn signal. Number pad 9 controls your right turn signal and you have to turn your wheel at least halfway the other way in order to reset that. Okay. So now we'll go to this. How to get the bus moving. Uh, your bus will have your parking brake will be on. You're going to want to move that lever in the up position. You're going to want to, your bus is originally in neutral. What you're going to want to do is, I usually drive in second gear. So you hit this number two button here, that's your second gear. So first, second, and third gear forward and reverse. Some of the newer buses just have drive and reverse and neutral in this area. Okay? Um, so to get your bus moving, put it in second gear. Make sure your parking brake is off. Make sure your bus stop brake is off and give it some gas. And as you will see, you'll begin to move forward. Okay. That's basic. That's your basic how to start tutorial right there. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed doing it for you. The next tutorial will c cover driving and bus stops and issuing money and tickets. Uh, so thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed.